Hey everybody, welcome to the next Rollercoaster Tycoon Deluxe Park playthrough. Now today we're finally making our start on Corkscrew Foley's or Added Attractions, uh, which is the first expansion pack for the original Rollercoaster Tycoon game. Uh, now the first park here is called Whispering Cliffs. It's, uh, it's a really uh, thin park, it's uh, got a very small footprint. Uh, the objective is to have a park value of $17,000 at the end of October Year 3. Um, so, my strategy was to build kind of uh, small coasters all along the coastline. I didn't want to build anything too tall because I thought, you know, on a cliffside, they're probably not going to build rides that are super high just because, you know, winds will probably be pretty high. Uh, so, I thought, you know, we'll keep the rides nice and small um, just to try and keep it as realistic looking as possible. Uh, so the first ride here was the ferris wheel and then I decided to get stuck into my first coaster which was a Virginia reel. Uh, so I decided to use that little hillside there to kind of have a uh, switchback sort of style reel rolling down the hill um, with a simple climb up back into the station. I think it looks pretty cool um, and it hardly even leaves the ground. I think it's like one tile off the ground at the highest point, so or maybe two down down uh, just near the station, but yeah, not not super tall um, and I think it looked pretty good. I couldn't think of a name for it actually, so I uh, if you have a if you have a good name for it, then uh, I'm open to suggestions. Um, so you know go ahead and write one in the comments below if you've got a good name. Um, so yeah, next one was a spiral slide, which uh, I wanted to get nestled into the little corner there. Um, I wanted to put some food stands kind of along the uh, the uh, inlet there, which I thought looked kind of cool. Just put a few ground shrubs, which I thought made it look kind of nice. Uh, what was next? Oh yeah, one thing you'll notice with this video is uh, the mouse, the pointer, is a little bit offset. Now I had um, I had kind of a few issues recording this thing. Um, I've been using the standard or the inbuilt Windows 10 uh, recorder, a video recorder, which is uh, I think it's the Windows Game Bar, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's been working pretty well for me up, up until this uh, scenario here, uh, but basically um, yeah, the, for whatever reason, the, the Windows pointer is way offset, so uh, when when you're uh, looking at the video, it's uh, it doesn't line up with where I'm actually clicking, which uh, was kind of annoying, but I, uh, anyway, it is what it is. Um, I, I can't really figure out a solution to it, so uh, what I... What I'm going to do from now on is use uh, OBS uh, video recorder. Um, I haven't used it before, but uh, I think it'll do the job for me. So after this video here, I'm probably going to switch over to the OBS recording software. But we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But apologies for that little issue there. Uh, so yeah, the next next ride here is a little uh, steel mini coaster. Now it's uh, it's not very big, but uh, it actually it has pretty decent stats. It's got an excitement rating of almost five, intensity about four and a half or five. I can't remember. Um, but you know, even with those small ratings, virtually every guest uh, rode it. Well, the, there wasn't many people that turned the ride down, so uh, I think it worked out kind of well. Um, yeah, I, I left the name of uh, of that one open as well. So if you've got a good uh, suggestion for that. I'm, uh, I'm open to hear it, just write it in the uh, comments below. Uh, decided to squeeze in a pirate ship there, thought it looked kind of cool. Um, I made the queue line a different colour too because that's uh, that was a feature that was introduced with uh, corkscrew foley's back in the day so you know no more monotone blue queue lines for me from now on which is very exciting. So yeah just uh, wanted to make the pirate, sh pirate ship kind of uh, nicely themed, put a, a few rocks kind of around the place just to kind of give somewhat of a shipwreck feel. Um, I went back and gave the coaster up the top there a bit of a, I don't know, somewhat of a tropical theme, which I thought looked kind of cool. 
Um, but yeah, just just going around. Made a few made a few landscaping changes. Um, one thing I really don't want to do is build uh, outside of the uh, the land. As in, I don't want to build paths or rides that go go past the edge of the cliff face because I just think that's not very realistic. Um, so when I have had to get myself a bit more space, I've just I've simply increased the size of the uh, the uh, cliff. Like I've, uh, I've added a couple more tiles to give myself some extra room, which that's probably not very real realistic in itself. But yeah, whatever. So the next um, the next ride was a wooden side friction coaster, which was uh, I think this ride only became available in the Corkscrew Follies um, expansion pack back in the day. Um, it's uh, this one here again. It's uh, kind of a small ride. Um, yeah, here, here I am just doing a few landscaping changes, adding adding some extra land there. Um, the since I got very cheap coasters here, um, they actually became very profitable. Um, so money hasn't been too much of an issue so far. So hopefully I can maintain that. Um, so yeah, just go back and do some simple theming to the side friction there. That also has pretty decent stats, you know, excitement intensity around about four or five. So, uh, you know, that's, that's perfectly adequate. I mean, ideally you'd probably want a little bit more, but with the limited space, I want to, wanted to keep these coasters nice and compact. So, you know, that's, uh, that worked out. So yeah, um, what next? You know, one thing I'll have to bear in mind with this park is that you know, over time rides in, uh, reduce uh, in value or they, uh, the park value will diminish over time. So if I run out of space, which I suspect will happen, I might have to go back and rebuild some of these rides just so they regain their original value. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to uh, like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.